Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. We're looking at Psalm 113. Hey, do you like to praise Jesus? I mean, is that something you really enjoy doing? Uh, I just got to admit, my favorite part of the service is not me preaching, but it's our incredible worship teams at all of our campuses that are leading us in excellent worship to celebrate Jesus, to praise God, uh, to sing of His greatness. I've always been that way. That's why when I was a teenager, I wanted to be a worship pastor. And God said, no, because you can't sing, so you have to just be a regular pastor. Uh, I, think it, I think it's worked out okay. I'm at peace with it now, but uh, I still uh, just love the worship and I love the music. But, but here's the thing. Uh, I want you to love to praise Jesus because if, you're, if you don't get excited about praising Jesus, you're probably not ready for heaven. Just saying. Psalm 113 says this. Uh, praise the Lord. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. I mean, the psalmist says, look, we're to praise God. That's just plain and simple, very obvious, because he's worthy of our praise. And we know that. Look at what he's done in your life. Look what he's done for us in Christ. Look how he saved us. We didn't deserve it. So he's worthy of praise. And he says, look, I want you to praise God for all time, from this point forevermore, and I want you to praise God at every single moment of the day, from the rising of the sun until the same sun. The name of the Lord is to be praised all day long, every day. Praise God. That's what we're to do. So I want to encourage you to be obedient. I'm going to encourage you to be obedient and praise God. And if you do that, if you are obedient and you praise God, you will have more joy. How do I know that? Because, uh, look, your mind is going to be taken off of a lot of your problems, out of your worries, and you're going to be celebrating who Jesus is, and, and so your life is going to be more joyful. And, and if you are obedient and you praise God, you will complain way less than you do right now. I know that because you can't be celebrating and complaining at the same time. Just try it. You can't do it. One's going to win out over the other. And so if you're praising God, you're going to be complaining less. And so be obedient and, and praise God, because if you do that, you will have way more peace in your life. Again, it's correlated to the whole less complaining, less worries. You don't have time for that. You're going to be remembering God's power. You're going to be remembering that God loves you on a regular basis. And so you're just going to naturally have a lot more peace in your life. Um, be obedient and praise God, and, and you're going to bless people. You're just naturally going to be blessing people more. Why? Because it's a continuation of your blessing God. And so when you're remembering how good God is to you and you're praising him for that, you're going to look at people who are made in the image of God and it's going to be way more natural for you to bless other people. And so if you're obedient and you praise God, you're going to have less conflict. Ooh, now I got your attention, right? How are you going to have less conflict? Because if you're blessing people all the time, people don't want to fight with people who are blessing them. They actually just want to appreciate them. So um, here's the thing. We're commanded to praise God. So I hope that's reason enough for you. But if you praise God, God's going to bless you with all these different things. More joy, complaining less, more peace, blessing people, less conflict, because that's what results when we're obedient to God and we praise Him. So I hope you are ready to praise Jesus today, all day long, and every day until you see him face to face, because we're going to be doing that for all eternity. So Calvary, have a blessed day and praise Jesus.